So children, I explained you the meaning of this poem and now we will move to the literary devices that is used by the writer. So what is a literary device? First we will discuss that. A literary device is a technique used by the writer to produce a special effect. Now whenever a poem or any work of art is written, in that the poet or the writer uses some kind of special effects, okay, through some kind of words so that the reader is able to relate with it. So first literary device that is used in this poem, the road not taken is rhyme scheme and it says that the rhyme scheme of this poem is A, B, A, A, B. Now what is the meaning of this A, B, A, A, B? This is the rhyme scheme. Now rhyme scheme. Rhyme scheme is the musical effect or the sound beat or rhythm as you can say of the last word. The last word of each line of the poem, you know, it has a rhythm and it and the rhythm, you know, it matches with some of the other lines. I'll tell you how. Okay. So Take the first line, two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Now here the last word is wood, which is the word that it is rhyming with. It is rhyming with stood and could. So this becomes A, alright. I have written these lines here for you. Okay, so this wood is rhyming with stood and could. So these three becomes A. Now what is left? Both. Now both is rhyming, rhyming with? Undergrowth, it has the same sound, right? It has the same sound. So it becomes, these two becomes B. So this is the rhyme scheme of the poem. The first one is A. Second line is B. B because it both is rhyming with growth. Then third is again A because two is rhyming with wood. So it will become A. Now could. Could is again A because it is rhyming with stood and wood. And the last one will be B because it is undergrowth. The sound is rhyming with both. Alright. So I hope you understood this. This is the rhyme scheme of the poem. And it is used all throughout the poem. Okay. In all the stanzas you will find this combination of rhyme scheme. A, B, A, A, B. Everywhere. Okay. Now, next, what we are going to discuss? We will discuss the visual imagery. The visual imagery. What is visual imagery, children? Listen carefully. When we are able to visualize or imagine a particular scene or setting of the poem. So, when this poem opened up, you know, we saw there was a scene of a forest. You can see it here how the poet has described the forest here. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. There is a description, no? There is a description of two roads. Then there is a description of yellow wood. I told you what is, what is a yellow wood? It is forest. Forest uh, covered with uh, yellow trees. Because of that depicts the autumn season. Because of the autumn season. Okay. So here and this line through this first line we get a true picture of the forest all right so 